This is definitely one of the cheapest places to buy souvenir. Giant gold thump right behind me. Very famous spot in the bazaar. We got a chestnut from a Turkish guy and we got our Iraqi tea. Now one of the things that you're going to notice in Qatar and a lot of the uh, Arab Muslim countries, so he's gone to prayer. So instead of closing a shop, he literally just put the stick over it and goes to prayer. We're waiting for our you know, smoothie to come out, give that a taste. So they have keychains right here. They have Messi keychains, Neymar, Ronaldo. We're starting to see a lot of rugs. So I have to get small stuff. I can't take those on the airplane. Sada can, but I can't. She's literally brought a whole thing of rug before from uh, Iraq to uh, US. Welcome to Souk Wakuf in Doha, Qatar. This is the most famous marketplace bazaar here in Doha. And today we have 100 US dollars, which is 365 local currency to go shopping. So with that said, my name is Ahmed, and let's go shopping, see what $100 gets us in the market behind us. Here we go. Now I am here on a, it's right at 4 p.m. This place opens up um, at 3.30, just because it's really hot during the day. It is open early in the morning for a couple of hours, but then it shuts down again. Uh, I am starting right in the front where the, uh, the Islamic minaret is right here and also the um, the Doha drop-off uh, double-decker bus the tourist bus also is located right here in the front so with that said let's go and see what we get for 100 bucks first place I see is that uh, football team with the jerseys so I am here during a, a Asian Cup so let's see what kind of jerseys we can find and hopefully they take credit cards because I don't have much cash <laughs> I have to make sure I have my best uh, skills for negotiations. Assalamu alaikum. So, prayer, hats, jerseys. Do you have a jer Iraq jersey? What about Qatar? Qatar? Qatar national team. Yes, I Can I see? Do you have like kid, kid size by chance? Kid or size? Yeah, kid size. This is the smallest? My, my girls are big. They're two meters. You want to get big? <laughs> yeah. Is yeah, so this the smallest or this is what? This one is the bigger half. Okay. What's the price on this one, brother? This is 40 real. How much? 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. Is this a Muslim price or tourist price? <laughs> 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 huh? Which price? A good price, bro. Well, uh, so what's the final price if I get three? What can you do for me if I get three, Habibi? Where are you from? I'm also from Iraq. You from? Yeah. Where? Which city? Baghdad. Baghdad, okay. I was born in Kirkuk. Kirkuk. Yeah, Turkmani. Okay, Habibi, so what's the final price you can do for me on that one? How much? 35. 35, three? Okay, can I see the different sizes? So that one will be smallest. I need two more that's bigger. So this is my five-year-old. So she's pretty tall, you can see. And this is my six-year-old. So we're gonna, I'm gonna get the, uh, the girls Qatar jersey, since they don't have Iraq jersey. So that's how we're getting. Five years old, okay? No, small. Okay, give me two of this. Is that the biggest? Okay. That's bigger that one. Okay. That's the final big, right? Can I, can I pay with credit card? Yeah. Okay? Okay. All right, we can pay with credit card. That's good. So 40? So two, yeah, two. And then uh, 112, Habibi. So that's going to be what? 105? 105? Final price, 100? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Out of 365 reals, we spent 105 already on three jerseys. So 105 down. We got the girls a three uh, Qatar jersey, no Iraq. So let's continue, see what we get, and then um, see if we can spend this 100 bucks here. A lot of ice cream shops, coffee shops, a lot of cafes. And of course, the uh, you want to ride the boats. The boats are going to be in the front, but you can ride the boats, the wooden boats right there in the front. So we're starting to see a lot of rugs. So I have to get small stuff. Can't take those on the airplane. Sada can, but I can't. She's literally brought a whole thing of rug before from uh, Iraq to the uh, US. This is definitely one of the cheapest places to buy souvenir. This is very popular here. Local smell. They burn and uh, make the environment smell really nice. So these are praying beads, tasbih as they call it. Yeah.
you can see they have a lot more uh, styles here. This is what I'm looking for, a metal one. This is my life, it's my favorite metal. What's the price on this, brother? 120. Do you have smaller metals, but same size, same uh, short? Like like this, I want something like this, but short. So 100 reals. It's kind of big, I don't know. I had a smaller one, I lost. Uh, 105 is what we've spent so far. I feel like I'm the worst shopper. I've only been to like four stores and, I've, and the money's already done, almost done. Oh, this is pretty cool, four magnets for one. There's the World Cup trophies. More side. What are the prices on this, how we The trophies. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Salam alaikum. All right. So World Cup trophies. Well, how much is the uh, this one right here, brother? How much this one, Habibi? Seven fifty. License product. Okay. I only have a budget for hundred dollars. <laughs> no, I give you good price. No problem. No. No. Thank you, Habibi. These are very, very heavy. Wow. Of course, famous uh, Turkish lights that you've seen in the uh, Grand Bazaar. So they have keychains right here. Like they have Messi keychains, Neymar, Ronaldo. It's not in good condition, like it's very ripped. You can tell. All right, let's keep walking. We got a long ways to go. Old school local boats back in the day. This is what they used to have. Like, like I said, a bunch of cafes, tea shops, coffee shops. You're going to find them here. We are just outside of the uh, the Souk Bazaar. There's still the side streets, the uh, insides that we're gonna go to here in a second. This one's got some nice stuff. And of course, one of the things this uh, Souk Bazaar is known for is the giant uh, gold thumb, which is right there, center of the bazaar. As you can see, these are a lot of the tourist people here. Giant gold thumb right behind me, very famous spot in the bazaar. The most popular place for pictures in the bazaar, in the Souk Bazaar. This place has over 20,000 reviews on Google Maps and it's rated at 4.7. So it's got, a lot of, it's got a lot of reviews. A lot of people do come here uh, to shop around and just kill time and, and really the food here. Every food, every country's food, you name it, they have it here. I've seen Iraq, Iran, traditional, you name it, I've seen it all. So let's continue. Famous Turkish ice cream for 20 local currency. So you got corn, chestnut, that's my popular, so I'm gonna come back to this one. Merhaba. Nasılsınız? Allah aşkına sağ olun. Abi tell me. Kestane mi? Evet. Uh, Turkish we call it kestane, in English chestnut. Even though you're in Doha, you still get Turkish food. All right, so 25 reals. So now our total is 130. We spent 130 reals. So we are left with 235 is what we're left with. So let's continue. So I see they're putting a lot of tents together. Looks like some kind of show they're preparing for. I see a Iraqi flag on a tea station over there. So let's go have some Iraqi tea. Can I have uh, one tea, brother? Uh, a bit heavy? Sugar? Uh, no sugar. I'm probably the only Iraqi eat, drinks tea with no sugar. <laughs> How much? Five, okay. So five reals here. What the have We got a chestnut from a Turkish guy, and we got our Iraqi tea. And you can see all around me, they got all kinds of tables, boots set up for sweets, snacks, you name it. They got it all here. Where are you from? Kenya. Kenya. Okay. Good soccer team. Good football team. Only, only, big, only Olympic. Only Olympic? <laughs> no? Not good? Yes. Who, who's the best team in Africa? 
Yeah? yeah. Not Ghana, Senegal? Ghana, Ghana. Ghana? What about Senegal? Who do you think is going to win the Asia Cup? Huh? Asia Cup. Asia Cup. Who do you think is going to win? Well, You're not sure? Yeah, I can give it a guess. Yeah? <laughs> it's because you got what? You got Jordan, South Korea, Iran, and Qatar. The chestnut is good, guys. The cheese, one of the best cheese. It's a bit heavy, but I'm telling you, it's amazing. So we are 135 local currency spent so far. Just ha just finished the tea and the chestnut. Uh, met some uh, couple from Jersey. He's a heart doctor in Jersey, so we started talking. And next thing you know, it's been like 45 minutes later. So always a blessing to be able to meet somebody with, with such a you know high profession, a heart surgeon, and then just catching up on stuff and you know just chit chatting like you know we've known each other for years. So restaurants are starting to. Uh, Turn on the lights. So let's just keep walking, see what else we can spend money on. Let's go on this side street right here. So here we go, lights are on. Everybody's eyeballing me. Like, what is this dude doing? All right, so this shop is selling traditional clothing. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? Uh, do you have Umrah? No? Uh, the next one? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Habibi. Honest man. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Umrah, uh, Ikram. So I'm gonna get ready to go to Umrah, most likely the next couple months. So. Is that the biggest one, brother? Uh, yeah. Made in Turkey? Made in Turkey. I'm from Turkey. <laughs> one piece or two piece? Two piece. Where's the other one? Uh, okay, what's the price? Tell me the price. It's 80 How much? 85. 85. Air price or tourist price? No, it's never price. What's final price, Habibi? How much? 80 real price. 80. So 80 real is going to be $21. Okay, Habibi. So I'm going to go to Umrah in the next couple of months, God willing. So might as well get my uh, ihram here. Okay, it's very, very expensive in the US. So this is about $21 here. 80 local, 80, yep. So 80 local currency and they take credit cards. So. Come on. All right, the bags are getting heavier, so I don't know how I'm going to hold the camera in the bag. And it's two pieces, right? Okay, thank you, brother. So we're at 215, so 215 is what we spent so far. So you got the uh, head scarves here. All kind of clothing, scarves. How much these? How much? 25. 25? Yes. Okay. Can I try? Yeah. Okay. Are you bigger? The small? One size. One size? Okay. One size. I have a big I have a big head. <laughs> no, it's squeezing. <laughs> Maybe next time, inshallah. Okay. Thank you, Habibi. So the hat didn't fit because my head is too big. So let's just keep walking, see what else we find. Louis, looks like a Louis Vuitton, but it's not a Louis Vuitton. How much is the price on this one? Five zero? Final price, what can you do? 45. Air price or tourist price? So this bag right here, you can see it's good quality from inside. One, two, three, four. It's your lucky day. Come on. Thank you. Okay, Harvey, thank you. There you go. So 445 local currency. I was able to get this back. It's really nice. So it looks really, really good. And it has a black color, black and gray, but I like the gray better. It has a black and gray. I like that better. All right, so let's put this in a bag and continue. All right, so we are up to 260 total local currency. So that's what we have so far with the latest purchase. We have about 110 local currency left before we hit our $100 budget. So let's continue and see what else uh, we find. Got to leave some room for uh, tea in the end. Uh, you can buy your uh, things here and then go take it to a tailor. Shukra Habibi, thank you. Take it to a tailor and then they'll tailor just for you. Custom cut. All right, so I'm looking for uh, something for me. What's the best one you have, best quality? Okay, so not white, because white's going to get dirty. You have gray? Is that good quality? Which one's better? This one right here? Let me put this down. So this one is better or this one is better? 11 and a half US. All right, so let's try this out. 
final price. Arab price, not tourist price. No tourist price. Okay, Habibi, 90? Yeah. Tamam, okay. 90 lira, 90 lira, 90 reals for the male uh, sandals. This one I just don't like. It just feels like it's a woman version with the high heels. Uh, 15 reals left. So that's it. So 350 local currency spent. We got 15 left. I'm gonna leave that for uh, some tea maybe. So let's continue, find a tea spot sit down and relax and do some people watching. Now don't worry if you get lost, there's a map in just about every corner. So it tells you which zone you're in and what area you're in. So you can continue uh, shopping. Now one of the things that you're gonna notice in Qatar and a lot of the uh, Arab Muslim countries, so he's gone to prayer. So instead of closing a shop, he literally just put the stick over it and goes to prayer. Does not close the shop. That is physically closing the shop with a stick right there and does not worry about anybody stealing his items or anything like that. So that's how safe and peaceful this country is. You would never see this in America, unfortunately. All right, so the bags are getting heavy. So I'm gonna go drop the bags in the car and then I continue uh, on my 15 uh, reals shopping. See what I can find for 15 reals. But it's getting heavy, so let's drop this off in the rental car. And by the way, the parking here is free. So if you're driving a rental car, you can absolutely drive here and park for free. There's no charge. And it's starting to get really busy now. So the parking is on the ground. So let's make our way. By the way, there's a movie theater here. If you'd like to go see a movie, you can absolutely do that right there. Novo Cinemas. Uh, there's a really famous Iraqi restaurant here. I believe it's this one right here. This is the back of it. I'm about to go in the front, so you'll see here just shortly. Uh, we've ate day before. The food is really, really good. So let's recap what we purchased so far. I got three soccer jerseys, shirt, and the shorts for the kids. So three of them. Uh, really nice male uh, sandals, like a luxury one. It's pretty much what I call a shoe. So let's call it a shoe, one, one, one shoe for me. A nice camera bag, very similar to this one. This one's all ripped from inside. So really nice camera bag. And then um, two piece clothing for me to go to Umrah. So I'll call it, you know, a really nice piece of clothing. So those are the four things we've gotten so far and we got 15 liras left. So let's continue. So as you can see the restaurants here, this is the front facing. Any, any restaurant you want, you can find it here. You even have places like this in the corner that uh, we've been there before, it's really good. You have the menus just uh, right in the front street. Hey! <laughs> Orange juice, apple juice, pomegranate juice, those are very popular here. Uh, very, very popular, a lot of people go uh, eat it. This is the Iraqi restaurant I was talking about. It's right next to the movie theater actually. So, El at Hamia. There you go. The food here is really, really good. And there's a Turkish restaurant in the end. Uh, food is okay, not great. I'll definitely prefer the Iraqi one for sure. And you can see they, that's where they uh, grill the fish as well. Iraqi fish, very popular. Rice and noodles, Thailand, Iraq, Turkish, you name it. All kinds of food, you can find it here. So this is a Turkish kebab. It's a hit or miss. Uh, in my opinion, it's not the best one. There's definitely better restaurants here on this block. So well, this is end of the block on one side. We'll make a U-turn and continue the other way. That's where we uh, that's where we started from. We're on the complete opposite side of the uh, souk. Kind of give you an idea. This is kind of the uh, fruit uh, smoothies, as you want to call it, smoothie. The fruit uh, cups that comes out of this shop right here. Banana, guava, coconut, mango, strawberry, hamad, avocado. Wow, Ali. He's all starts off at 15. That's what I got. So I might just get one of these. All right. So she said that this is the most popular thing. 17 local currency. So we're two reals over our budget. But you know, it is what it is. So what do you think? We're getting in towards the end of the video. You can comment below. Is your country cheaper? Is your country more expensive? But if you were to travel to Doha, Qatar, and you want to spend 100 bucks in the uh, Souk Walk of Bazaar marketplace. You get, you get an idea what you can get for a hundred US dollars. So hopefully this helps you. We're waiting for our you know, smoothie to come out, give that a taste and wrap up the day.